My name's Adam Toole. Um, I'm an electrical inspector for WA Electrical Inspection at Western Power. We're the secret inspectors that work for Western Power that nobody knows about. We check uh, electricians, electrical contractors that do the actual work on the network, make sure they're compliant to current regu regulations and legislation. That can be anything varying from a new solar installation on a domestic house to a brand new school that's just been completed. Also attend fires and shock incidents. We have to ensure that what gets connected to the network is safe to do so and that is done through a random inspection. It can be down lights getting, getting installed in your house, power points, a kitchen renovation, shop fitting, uh, all aspects of electrical what we will inspect. A few of the traits that make you good at your job is you've got to have common sense. Common sense goes a, a long way when you're deciding on where this next path is going to take you. If you're looking at something that has a potential to be a hazard, you can use common sense to determine how severe it is. Uh, and again, safety, you've always got to think in this line of safety. Everybody has their own method and their own approach to the way they do things. And so basically, so you're methodical and you don't miss anything. Um, I'll enter the property, do a visual all the way around the property first, and I'll go left all the way around, so I don't miss a room or don't miss anything. Then I'll come back and then if the switchboard needs to be energised, I will check the switchboard, make sure it's all good. I'll do a insulation resistance at the switchboard then. Then I know it's safe to be energised. I can then energise the switchboard and then I can actually go and check everything throughout the house, test it all, make sure the circuit breakers trip, make sure there's continuity on everything. The most challenging part of the job, I guess, is the members of the public. They don't know we're coming. So if we just turn up out of the blue, it, it sort of like catches them on the hop and it's just far too difficult to make an appointment. If we find something that requires us to be on site for four hours and then we've got an appointment booked for later in the day and we miss it, that would be worse than actually turning up out of the blue. There's a little bit of explaining sometimes to try and get around that, but once you've explained it to them and they understand why you're there, it does sort of unfold. A lot of the contractors that we have, um, virtually all the contractors we have, are pretty good. They're on the money. You know, usually it's something that's been overlooked or something that's not quite right or they've not seen it or they didn't realise it or they've missed something. Some people are absolutely over the moon, especially when you find something wrong. Then they're like, oh, really good. It, it, it's good when you walk away and they're thanking you for the service, which is free, uh, and they're thanking you for that, you know? We do, I think we do a pretty good job as inspectors. Sometimes it can be challenging, sometimes it can't be. Some days you can get loads done, other days you can get absolutely nothing done. It's like you're swimming against the tide, but I guess that's the same in any job, you know? 